Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we are going to look at the speed test between two uh, two phone services here. So one on my right is the Helium Mobile service, and on my left is the Visible Vi Verizon service. So keep in mind, both of these are twenty dollar plans. On my left, again, Visible twenty five dollar plan. And on my right, we have, again, the $20, the only plan that Helium Mobile has is $20. So let's go ahead and get the Wi-Fi turned off over here on my Pixel 7 Pro. Again, if you guys are curious on which devices I am using, again, I am using the Pixel 7 Pro for, for this test and the Motorola ThinkPhone for uh, this device on my right. So just a heads up on that. And just so you guys can kind of see here, again, we are uh, 5G Plus on the ThinkPhone and we are just 5G on here. So let's go ahead and get um, the speed test going here, right? Both of them pretty snappy phones. That even though the the, the Seven uh, Pro is a phone that's a couple years old already, or getting close to a couple years old already, uh, still uh, still a very solid beast. And Motorola Think Phone going on a year already, still very good phone. So let's go ahead and tap this. Hopefully, there's no issues as far as the speed tests go. All right, here we go. One of them says Verizon on the bottom. The other one says T-Mobile. Uh, so let's get that going. So obviously ping test on uh, Helium Mobile worked a lot better. Um, so if you guys didn't know, Helium Mobile does run off T-Mobile's network. Now, of course, this is a uh, service that is, uh, you know, kind of, it's one of those services that they're trying to get the uh, the user involved where, you know, they're literally asking people to buy uh, hotspots for their houses or for their homes or apartment buildings. And so that they can uh, continue to have, uh, I guess, a good connection overall in, in bigger cities, etc., like that. So, wow, you know, I'm actually, I'm actually uh, disappointed by Visible by Verizon because I actually usually get pretty decent speeds most of the time. Uh, and this is interesting to me because if you guys follow Stetson Doggett, he actually posted a video that. Uh, you know, visible via Verizon, the $25 plan, I guess he's, uh, he was getting about 400 megabits a second on his. I'm getting 32 on mine, so I don't know what's going on. Who knows? Maybe I have to restart the phone here. Maybe I'll change the server. You can see here, 32 download on that one. A 194 upload and 23, uh, or download and 23 upload on this device. So... Let's take a look here. Uh, let's go back and we'll change servers. So both of them are Houston, Texas, so that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and change it to San Antonio. Again, if you guys aren't aware, I live in the state of Texas. Um, see if there's there's not a San Antonio one popping up here, so let's try Austin instead. So so regardless of the, the lower speeds on you know the uh, $25 plan here that we see, I actually usually get pretty decent speed. So here we go. Now switching servers, you're seeing a little bit of a better speed here. I'm not really getting anything from the Austin server here on this phone. So, very interesting uh, to see. And again, you guys, I will check Signal Check Pro for both of these devices, just so you can see. And just so you guys know, both of these uh, phone services, they do offer... Hey, check it out. We finally got up to 99 here. So, I got an error on this phone, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I might have to change the server again. Okay, let's try... What's going on there? Hold on. Let's, let's see. Let's see if it lets me... Let's see if it lets me. I don't know. I mean, usually it, it gives me the option, but now it's not giving me the option here. So let's actually, let's kill the app. Let's kill the app, and then we'll go from there. So um, try to, try this again. You know, again, it could be just an issue with the app. There you go. So Austin, Texas wasn't working out. Let's try. Let's see. Can I find San Antonio? Let's type out San Antonio. All right, we did find a few of them from San Antonio, Texas, so I don't know why this one says 2,300 miles. Okay, let's try this one, and again, let's see Let's see if I can get that to work again, just one more time, both from the San Antonio servers, and then and then I'll do uh, a server that's actually close to me. So so again, San Antonio server not working bad. We get, finally got the server from uh, San Antonio working on the Motorola ThinkPhone. And we're both getting about the same speeds here. Uh, this, these speeds that I'm seeing on the, uh, you know, Helio Mobile, they're actually kind of the highest speeds that I've actually seen up to this point. So I actually haven't really seen anything over 200 megabits a second. Uh, so I'm, I'm very uh, interested to see what's going on there. And here we got 116 on, again, 
on the on the the Pixel 7 Pro on Visible, so that's very good, honestly. I, I mean, for for again, twenty twenty and twenty five dollar plans, you know, you really, I really can't complain. One hundred seventy four T Mobile seems to be doing a little bit better. Keep in mind, T Mobile uh, has, to me, in my opinion, has like a stronger mid band or whatever you want to call it in my area. So let's try something local now. And guys, I will. I am gonna post uh, the affiliate links for both of these if you guys are interested in maybe testing out the service. Um, let's try VTX down here, and we'll try we'll try the same server. So we're we're again different services, same servers on speed test. So I am gonna try out. Um, I am gonna post up the affiliate links on the bottom. So if you guys want to try out Visible, I you guys can get twenty dollars off your first uh, month. Uh, if you want to trust out the service, keep in mind you do need a, a phone that is compatible with the Verizon network. Uh, so make sure that your phone is unlocked if you want to test that out. Uh, they do have, they do give you the option to check your IMEI before uh, you know you order a SIM card or try uh, doing an eSIM swap. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So you know, if, just in case. But you know, you if you try out the twenty-five dollars service, you are gonna only pay five dollars a month on this side. Uh, on Helium Mobile, I really don't know what the the, the, the reward is or whatever. But I do have a, a an a affiliate code also for that. So if you guys want to check that out, um, you can check that out as well. So again, let's check this out. So on Verizon, we got ninety-two download. And 20 megabits upload. The the upload speed is actually what's kind of intriguing me here because that's actually pretty really really good. Uh, 176 download and 16 upload. So you know definitely a little bit higher download speeds on this side. Let's go ahead and check uh, Signal Check Pro over here just because I want to I want to compare the two here. That's fu so funny that the apps look completely different on on different apps here. But let's go ahead and look at the Verizon first. So Verizon, you can see here that. Uh, it says provider Verizon B2. So uh, again, I'm not really too familiar with Verizon's events. Um, I usually see N41 on, on the T-Mobile network. So again, uh, you can see all the neighboring cell towers here. It says uh, here's the information on the LTE, right? And of course, your 5G. So again, it says Ben N77 on here, um, which, you know, again, not complaining one bit. This one does, it only gives you a little bit of information. So again, we're going. We're looking at the Motorola ThinkPhone here, and again, we're on N41, which is the one that I usually get a connection to when it comes to, um, you know, any devices that I'm connected with as far as T-Mobile. So when I have Boost service or Metro by T-Mobile service, uh, you're going to see that. So again, that's just what we're looking here. That's that's. It, it's about close to 11 o'clock at nighttime, guys, on my end. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let's let, maybe let's run one more test here. So let's run the the video. I guess let's run the the video test, right? That's 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 always a test that I was re I'm really kind of intrigued by. Uh, you know, the speed test app that they actually kind of show or it allows you to do. It kind of gives you an idea of like you know the what type of video playback you're gonna get uh, as far as the video goes, the quality goes, right? So. For me personally, I don't really watch like TV shows or I don't have any movie apps on my phone that I usually use unless I go on trips, right? Uh, so anything above like 720p to me is fine. But you know, for phones that have very high, you know, the quad HD screens and displays, you know, you want to, this will give you a good idea of what you're going to be able to stream uh, the, the shows at, right? Or the movies. So 2160p. On the Verizon network or visible via Verizon, and then of course here on Motorola ThinkPhone on the Helium Mobile network, you have 2160p. So, so just a heads up, guys. Uh, you know this is take it with a grain of salt, right? It's going to be different in in every area. So I just kind of want you guys to think about that and consider that, right? That you know my my experience and my service is going to be different than yours. Again, I live in South Texas. You know, if you live in Miami or if you live in Dallas or Houston, you know, you guys might get a different experience uh, with the networks here. But you know, again, guys, you take it with a grain of salt. This is this is what it is. And let's do one more speed test. Let's go ahead and change the local. Let's go ahead and change my local server really quick. Uh, we'll change it to something that's again uh, in my area. This is a new one, Vexus Fiber. I've never seen that one. Let me see if that one pops out for. <clears throat> for it does. Vexus Fiber. Okay, that's about maybe about a forty-five minute drive for me. So let's see. Let's see. So we're actually getting pretty good ping on on the Motorola ThinkPhone over here. 
And guys, let me know if you guys like these videos, right? Please, please post down in the comments if you guys are enjoying the videos. I do know that there's a there's some of my some of my community do enjoy watching the speed tests. Uh, and I usually only post them on team uh, on uh, on YouTube, but you know if you guys want to see me post these on my my X account or my you know my other social medias, check out my link tree, guys. I do have a TikTok for my uh, B Tech page. I do have an Instagram, and I do have Facebook pages as well. So if you guys are not always using YouTube and you don't want to miss out on the action, please follow me on those other places here. So again. 60 download on the Verizon or visible via Verizon and then again we have ooh, I'm going to use that as a thumbnail by the way maybe maybe not uh, and then 179 download uh, for this over here for the Motorola ThinkPhone so again it's been pretty consistent with the Motorola ThinkPhone and them being under T-Mobile's platform right now again visible via Verizon it has been up and down I have seen speeds over 100 uh, on, on today's speed test here but Again, guys, take it with a grain of salt. It's going to be different everywhere you go. And that that still does not mean that you're not going to get good playback and you're not going to get like good streaming when it comes to it being under 100. So keep that in mind, guys. But anywho, guys, I really appreciate you all checking in with me here today. Thanks again for checking out the channel. As always, smash the like button. If you guys like the channel, please subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.